Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Thursday, May 27th, 2021. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's Stanley Cup playoffs, NBA playoffs, MLB and WNBA games. Look ahead to today's games in each sport. I will go over the current leaderboard at the Charles Schwab Challenge. I'll go over the latest season notes. We'll recap the Mass Singer finale and I'll do my best bet. Of the day. All right, we'll start with the Stanley Cup playoffs this time. There are some big time results where teams advanced and teams had gotten eliminated. So, without further ado, here we go. Islanders over the Penguins 5 to 3 in game six to close out that series to move on to the second round to take on the Boston Bruins. The number three started game with the goal, Ryan Pollock. Number two started game with a goal and two assists, Anthony Bavillier. Number one started game, Brock Nelson, with two goals and an assist. Bavillier, by the way, a goal and two assists. Goal scorers in this game. First period, Jeff Carter, Anthony Bavillier, Jake Gensel, Kyle Palmieri. Second period, Jason Zucker, Brock Nelson, Ryan Pollock, and then Nelson again, not in the third. Lightning over the Panthers 4 nothing as the Lightning close out the series. As they wait on the winner of the Hurricanes Predator series. The number three started game with the goal, Patrick Maroon. Number two started game with the goal and assist, Steven Stamkos. And the number one started game with 29 saves on 29 shots, Andre Vasilevsky. First period, Patrick Maroon scored. Second period, Steven Stamkos. Third period, Brandon Point and Alex Killorn. Wild over to Golden Knights, 3 0. The force on game seven. The number three started game didn't have a point, but played well. Ryan Sutter, number two started game with 23 saves on 23 shots. Cam Talbot. And the number one started game with goal and assist, Kevin Fiala. And all the goals came in the third period. This was 0 0 going into the third. The goal scorers were Ryan Hartman, Kevin Fiala, and um, from the wild. Um, Nick Jukestad. Looking ahead to today's games, only two games. Um, 7 o'clock, NBC is signing up the Canadians and the Maple Leafs. Um, Toronto wins. They move on to the next round to take all the Winnipeg Jets. If Montreal wins, game six would, in theory, be Saturday, probably. Toronto's minus 250, Montreal's plus 205, over under 5.5, over plus 108, under's minus 132. Montreal plus 1.5 is minus 137. Toronto minus 1.5 is plus 114. I think the series ends tonight, and I think that this is a multi-goal win for Toronto, so I'm laying the 1.5 at plus 114. And 9.30, game 6, Hurricanes, Predators. Canes are minus 148, the Preds are plus 126, over under... Five and a half overs plus one ten unders minus one thirty four. Carolina minus one half is plus one eighty four. Nashville plus one half is minus two twenty five. I had picked the Hurricanes in six in the series. Nashville has been even better than I would have thought they'd be. My pick for this is going to be over five and a half and plus one ten. I think this is an over game. These games have gone over. The majority of the time. But if you ask me for a result, I think that this is the fourth game in the row. This will go in the OT, and the Hurricanes will close out the series and advance to take on the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, now we'll move on to the NBA playoffs. We will go over the results from last night, and we will look ahead to the games for tonight. 76ers over the Wizards, 120-95 to take a 2-0 series lead. Ben Simmons, 22 points for Philly along with the assists. Bradley Beal, 33 points, in the, and um, he was just fabulous, Beal, despite getting blown out. Knicks over the Hawks, 101-92 to even up that series at one apiece. Derrick Rose, 26 points and four assists for New York. Trey Young had 30-7 and seven for Atlanta. Jazz over the Grizzlies, 141-129. to 
Donovan Mitchell returns 25 points to lead the Jazz in scoring. And John Morant, 47 points and 7 assists. He was fabulous. And he really um, put up a great performance sans that. All right. Three games tonight, 7.30 TNT. You have the Bucks in the Heat from Miami. My line projections is Bucks by three totals to 24 and a half. Meanwhile, it's Bucks one and a half total to 26. Um, does this to me all the time. My numbers are so close. I'm going to go under 226 for the sake of the podcast. 10 o'clock TNT, the Suns and the Lakers. I'm at Suns by 6.5, total to 20. I know that Ryan is not accurate. It's Lakers 7, total to 10. I'm going to take over 210 for my play here. Um... This is going to be, in my opinion, a much higher scoring game. I think this is going to be a higher scoring game than that number says, and I'd parlay that in Suns plus 7. I don't know if the Suns will win the game outright, but I would take that, and even plus 235 on the money line, too. And 10.30 on NBA TV of the Nuggets and the Trailblazers. I'm at Portland by a half total to 28. Meanwhile, it is Portland by four total to 27 and a half. I'm taking Denver plus the four plus at minus 112, will Denver win? I don't know. I just think that that game will be a lot closer than people will expect. All right, now I'm going to do Major League Baseball. We will go over the results from last night and yesterday afternoon. Look ahead to today's games. Twins over to Orioles, 3-2. to two. The Twins are 20-29. and 29, uh, Baltimore, 17-32. Michael Pineda to win. Jorge Lopez with a loss. Or Lopez. And Hansel Robles gets his third save of the season. Cardinals over to White Sox, 4-0. The Cardinals are 27-22. Chicago, 28-20. John Gant the win. Carlos Rodon the loss. A's over to Mariners, 6-3. Oakland 29-22, Seattle 23-27. James Caprelli in the win. Getting dinged with the loss of Robert Duggar. And Jake Dykeman gets his sixth save of the season. Angels over the Rangers 9-8. Again, the Angels did it by themselves, but the Rangers almost did it by themselves too. So best bet comes through. Angels 22-27, Texas 22-29. Griffin Canning the win, Dane Dunning the loss, and Rafael Glacius. Gets his eighth save of the season. Cubs over to Pirates four to one. The Cubs are twenty six and twenty two. Pittsburgh eighteen and thirty. Trevor Williams the win. Will Crow the loss. And Craig Kimbrell gets his eleventh save of the season. Marlins over the Phillies four to two. Marlins twenty four and twenty five. Philly twenty four and twenty six. Ross Dwight later, the win. Sean Conroy, the loss. Sam Conrad. Coonrod. And Yimi Garcia gets his ninth save of the season. Reds and the Nationals. The Nationals are up 3 0, and the game is suspended and will resume today at 2 o'clock. Red Sox over to Braves, 9 to 5. Boston 30 and 20, Atlanta 24 and 25. They conveyed it a win. Drew Smiley the loss. Tigers over the Indians 1-0. Tigers 19 and 30. Cleveland 26 and 21. Michael Falmer to win. Cal Contra the loss. And Gregory Soto gets the save. Rays over the Royals 2 to 1 in 10. On a walk-off single by Mayo Margo. Tampa 31 and 20. Casey 23 and 24. JP. For recent, the win and getting charged with the loss was Tyler Zuber. The Astros over the Dodgers five to two. Astros twenty seven and twenty two. 
Dodgers 3019. Luis Garcia the win, Trevor Bauer the loss, and Bobby Abreu gets his first save of the season. Padres over the Brewers 2 to 1 and 10. Padres 32 and 18, Milwaukee 24 and 25. Getting the win was Austin Adams, plus Brent Sutter, and Mark Melanson's got the 17th save of the season. Giants over the Diamondbacks 5 to 4. Giants are 30-19. The Zymacs are 18-32. Getting the win was Nick Trapiano. Alex Young, the loss, and uh, getting the save for San Francisco is Tyler Rogers. Blue Jays, Yankees, and Rockies Mets both postponed due to weather concerns in the New York metropolitan area. All right, today's game's... um. 12 o'clock, you have the Rockies and the Mets doubleheader game one. Herman Marquez and Marcus Stroman. That game is not up yet, but if I had to pick, if the total is anything less than um, six and a half, I'm definitely taking the over. Phillies Marlins, Spencer Howard and Pablo Lopez. Marlins minus 164. The Phillies are plus 138. Over under 7. Overs minus 120. Unders minus 102. Phillies plus 1 average minus 162. Marlins minus 1 average plus 134. This is a tough one. I'm going to go with the Miami Marlins minus 1 average plus 134, but I don't feel good about it. 1230 of the Cubs and the Pirates. Kyle Hendricks and Tyler Anderson. Cubs are minus 136. The Pirates are plus 116. Over under 7.5. Overs minus 114. Unders minus 106. Cubs minus 1.5 is plus 125. Pirates plus 1.5 is minus 150. I'm going with the Juice to over at minus 114. 1 o'clock, Indians Tigers. Shane Bieber and Matt Boyd. Indians minus 190. Tigers plus 160. Over under 7. Overs minus 118. Unders minus 104. Indians minus 1 of is minus 102. Tigers plus 1 of is minus 118. I'm going to go with the Indians run line. Minus 1 of is plus or minus 102. Padres Brewers. Ryan Weathers and Adrian Hauser. This might be a Danielson Lamet opener game. Padres minus 118, Brewers even money over under 8. Overs minus 114, unders minus 106. Padres minus 1 of his plus 140, Brewers plus 1 of his minus 170. This is a tough one. I'm going to go under 8 and minus 106. 3 o'clock, the Royals and the Rays. Brady Singer and Shane McClanahan. Rays are minus 162. The Royals are plus 136. Over under 7.5. Over is minus 118. Under is minus 104. Royals plus 1.5 is minus 154. Rays minus 1.5 is plus 128. I'm going to go with the Royals plus 136 to win the game outright. Game 2, Rockies-Mets. Antonio Sanzatella and Joey Lucchesi. If the total is anything less than 7.5, I'm taking the over. Doubleheader game one, Blue Jays Yankees. Alec Manoa making his big league debut against Domingo Herman. Again, if the total is anything less than seven and a half, I'm taking the over. Seven o'clock, the Reds and the Nationals. Sonny Gray and Steven Strasburg. Um, I don't see any lines up for that one. But if the Reds are a dog, I might take them out right. Game two, Blue Jays Yankees. Robbie Ray and Jordan Montgomery. Um tough one. I 
might consider the Blue Jays as a road dog in this one. Eight o'clock Orioles, White Sox. Bruce Zimmerman and Dylan Cease. No lines up yet for that one. But if the total is anything less than eight and a half, I'm taking the over. 930 Angels A's. Shohei Otani and Chris Bassett. A's are minus 156. Angels plus 132 over under 8. Overs minus 112. Unders minus 108. Angels plus 1F is minus 162. Oakland minus 1F is plus 134. I'm going to go with the Angels as a dog here. Outright plus 132. Cardinals Diamondbacks, Carlos Martinez and Matt Peacock. Cardinals minus 122. The Diamondbacks are minus or plus 104 over under 9.5. Overs minus 105. Unders minus 115. Cardinals minus 1F is plus 130. D-backs plus 1.5 is minus 156. I am going to go over 9.5 and minus 105. 10 o'clock, Giants-Dodgers. Alex, what do we know is going for the Dodgers? And if the total is anything higher than maybe 8, I'll consider the under. And last but not least, the Rangers and the Mariners. Colby Allen and Chris Flexen. Each team's minus 108, over under 8.5. Overs minus 112, unders minus 108. Texas minus 1.5 is plus 150. Mariners plus 1.5 is minus 182. I like Colby Allard. I'm going to go with the Rangers minus 108 at Seattle. Okay, now we'll move on to the WNBA as we will go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to tonight a little bit. So without further ado, here we go. Aces over to Mercury, 85-79. It was the lone game on the window last night. The Aces are 3-2, and two, Phoenix 2-3. Two and three. Jackie Young had 27 points for Vegas. Brittany Griner had 27 and 11 boards. All right, and then tonight you have the Wings and the Dream. Wings are 1-2, and two, Atlanta's 2-2. Two and two. I'm going to say that the team that gets this victory will be the... Atlanta Dream. So that would be my pick to win this game. All right, now we'll do golf. Um, we will talk about the current leaderboard of Charles Schwab. Um, I picked Walter Valatoris to win the tournament. Um. Doesn't get underway till eight ten, so I'm gonna go over the tee times. In the eight ten window, you have Lucas Glover, Hal Varner the third. I'm just gonna go through notables. Eight twenty one, Brock Storch, Scotty Scheffler, Adam Hadwin. Eight thirty two, Henrik Dorlander, Patrick Rogers, Chris Kirk. 8.43, Dylan Fratelli, Saiwoo Kim, Kevin Strillman, C.T. Pun, Corey Connors is in the 8.40.54 window with Kevin Na, Matt Jones. 9.05, Joaquin Neiman, Justin Rose, Ian Poulter, Patrick Reed. 9.16, Jordan Smith, Brendan Todd, Sun J.M., Phil Mickelson, Daniel Berger. 927, Kevin Mitchell, Zach Johnson, Joel Dahman, Richie Varensky. 938, Cam Davis, um, Lee Westwood, Walter Zalatoris. Um, 949, Luke List, Taylor Hoge, Cam Triangle, 10 o'clock, Emiliano Grio, Adam Shank. Is in the 1 o'clock window with Matt Wallace, Taylor Gooch, John Hahn. 111, Doc Redman. Um, 122, 
Rafa Cabrera Bayo. Um, Dylan McCarthy, Danny Lee, 133, Gary Woodland, Bryce Garnett, 144, Sebastian Munoz, Abraham Hanser, Tony Finau, Adam Putnam, Jason Kokrak, 159, Kevin Kisner, Sergio Garcia, Ryan Palmer, um, Caleb Ortiz, Russell Knox, 206, Brett Horschel, Justin Thomas, Kyle Mariqua, 217, Mackenzie Hughes, Adam Landry, JT Potts, and 228. Um, no one really that notable other than Wyndham Clark. Um... In the 239, last but not least, um, not many bigger names. Keith Clearwater's in there. Um, and like I said, that's probably like the uh, weakest corp in terms of name recognition. All right, now I'm going to do my latest news and notes. Um, a lot to talk about, obviously. Um, there was a video going around of a Knicks fan attempting to spit on him yesterday, Trey Young, and he goes, "Damn, crazy." Um, Donovan Mitchell says, "Give credit to Ja. He's a hell of a player. I expect the hell out of his game." Good. I'm glad that John Moran's starting to get noticed. He's a great player and deserves to be recognized more. There's a meme of Morant, by the way, that was going around of him on the bench when they were down by 20 at halftime. Russell Westbrook says the NBA must protect its players um, as a fan threw popcorn on him. In these arenas, you got to start protecting the players. We'll see that We'll see what the NBA does. I think that that is going to be something that's under investigation. That was rude what they did to Westbrook yesterday. Um, here's something interesting. College baseball. Ole Miss's Tim Elko played injured and matched a three-run bomb, which was the go-ahead home run in the college baseball playoffs. A two-homer game on a torn ACL is why we're talking about this. That's wild. Mike Schilt, the Cardinals manager, blasts Major League Baseball after his pitcher was called out for illegal substance on hat. Wrong time in the wrong arena to expose it. Hmm. All right, so Mickey Callaway got suspended and fired. As Callaway has been placed on the MLB's ineligible list after violating league policies. We talked about this on the show when this happened. So this is something that I thought was inevitable. Roni Toppin, who's the mother of Obi Toppin, was in tears as she heard the MSG crowd chant Obi's name after a big dunk in that playoff game last night. They are chanting, Obi, Obi, Obi. And his mother was in tears. But yeah, Obi Toppin's been fabulous in the playoffs for the Knicks off the bench. That's for sure. Um... The Knicks, speaking of which, already wants to face the Nets after taking down the Hawks in Game 2. They're saying, uh, we want Brooklyn. Derek Rose says that he's been dreaming about this moment for a long time in terms of uh, the Knicks and winning a big playoff game at home in front of their fans. Um, 
Trey Young also says, I'll see you in the A as he's ready for games three and four in Atlanta. The Knicks also had Nerland's Noel playing, which they need him. And he and Derek Rose isn't bothered by the Trey Young trash talk. He goes, You wanna talk shit? Talk shit. There's a complaint filed in the Timberwolves sale as a Wolves shareholder says that A-Rod Lordeal violates partnership agreement and has no provision to keep them in Minnesota. So part of me wonders if they're going to relocate. Jasmine Walker tore her ACL, the uh, number 7 overall pick in the draft, will miss the rest of the season after suffering a knee injury Friday's game against the Aces. That's a brutal loss for the Sparks. We've been talking about how bad A.J. Brown wants Julio Jones in Tennessee. And he keeps on recruiting as he made a pitch on TikTok. Brady is golfing against Rodgers on July 6th. The Capitol wins the match. It's Rodgers and Phil Mickelson against, or no, I'm sorry, Brady and Phil Mickelson against Rodgers and Bryson DeChambeau. And then Brady goes on the troll the Packers as he puts in the Brooks-Bryson meme to dunk on Packers' decision to kick a field goal in the NFC Championship. Ooh. Some soccer news. Um, Zidane leaves Real Madrid as the Madrid manager makes big decision to leave the Spanish club after a trophyless season. So now who's going to replace him is the question. New York Yankees first baseman Luke Voigt heading to the injury list with an oblique strain. The Yankees just keep getting injuries now. They got off to the slow start. Now there's injuries, but they seem to have turned a corner because they're well over 500 now. Corey Kluber's also on the injured list with the muscle strain. That is a huge loss for the Yankees. He really helped turn it around, him and Domingo Herman, the uh, in the rotation. So now they have to get another starter. Maybe they um, give Davey Garcia a test run. Or they go out and acquire somebody in a trade. Marcel Ozuna out five to six weeks after a dislocated finger. That is a big loss for the Braves offense. John Tavares recovery going very well as he visited Leeds practice yesterday. William Nylander says he's been a huge part in our team. He's there every moment. Moment. Adam Vinatieri says on Pat McAfee show that he is finally done with football. So Adam Vinatieri, the most clutch kicker in NFL history, is finally done with his prestigious career. He's down to the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. We talked about Aaron Rodgers a second out ago, and there's been pictures dropping of Rodgers on vacation in Hawaii with his fiance Shalene Woodley. The NFL sets a 2022 cap ceiling of $208.2 million. So that's a pretty big cap. Drew Timmy announces his return to the Zags. So that is good news for Gonzaga. And the last big note of today, uh, Wayne Gretzky stepped down as an Oilers executive, and now he'll be joining TNT as the great one will be a lead analyst on Turner's premier NHL studio show coming this fall. So, TNT and ABC, ESPN are really gathering up some big names for their hockey coverage, which will begin in the fall. All right, now I'm going to recap the finale of the Mass Singer season five. Um I thought it was a really good show. Um 
The show opens with last season's winner, The Sun, with the top three performing How Do I Leave? And Leanne Rimes wound up being the guest panelist as well. First up was Chameleon. Um, He talks about having a kid. uh, There's an old TV in there. He talks about um, in his sister's memory. Um, That's interesting. I didn't know that uh, the Chameleon had a sister that passed away or something. Maybe that's referring to something else. And Chameleon performed Gangsta's Paradise. And my guest, Carmelo Anthony. Black Swan. Talks about how she didn't think she was going to win or come this far. She said she's learning about herself. There's flowers. And then she performed How Am I Supposed to Live Without You? My guest, JoJo. And then Piglet. Said he was around pre-social media. He was given freedom. T- hints about his kids. And he performed faithfully by Journey. My guest, Mark Wahlberg. In third place was Chameleon. Uh, my first impression guest was Dwight Howard. My final guest, Carmelo Anthony. Jenny's first impression, Denzel Washington. Her final, Gucci Mane. Robin's first impression, Red Foo of the. De- or of LMFAO. Robin's final was Khalifa. Nicole's first impression, Nick Cannon. Obviously, that was when E.C. Nash was hosting the show. And Nicole's final was Wiz Khalifa. Ken Jung's first impression was Dwight Howard. His final was 2 Chains. And Leanne Rimes went with 2 Chains as well. And who was it? Wiz Khalifa. I was convinced it was Mellow. I was surprised it was Wiz there's too many clues adding up to Carl Anthony. So good for Wiz Khalifa. That's a big name for the show. The runner-up was the Black Swan. My first impression guest was Aubrey O'Day of Danity Kane. My final guest, JoJo. Robin's first impression was Rita Orr. His final was Nomari. Jenny's first impression was Leighton Meester. Jenny's final was Monica. Ken Jeong's first impression was Jesse J. His final was Demi Lovato. Nicole's first impression was Natasha Bedingfield. Her final was JoJo. Leanne agreed with Nicole and went with JoJo. And who was it? It was JoJo. And your winner was the Piglet, and rightfully so. He's the best one all season. My first impression guest for the Piglet was... Jonathan Knight of New Kids on the Block. Not bad. My final guest was Mark Wahlberg. The Colt Scherzinger's first impression guest was Cody Simpson. Her final was Brian Luttrell of the Backstreet Boys. Robin's first impression was John Resnick. His final, Nick Lachey. Ken's first impression was Adam Lambert. His final, Jeremy Renner. Jenny's first impression guest was Nick Lachey, and she kept it. And who was it? It was indeed Nick Lachey, formerly of 98 Degrees. Good singer, so good get for the mass singer. All three of these guys that were eliminated tonight, I felt, were great gets for the show. And this was a fun season, a season I'll certainly never forget. And obviously, this show will be back in the fall, and we will indeed cover it. All right, last but not least, my best bet. Of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, this is another hard one, but just to be different and to do something else. In fact, I think this total is really, really low. I'm gonna go. With over 210 in Suns Lakers, and I'm only going to lay a unit on it because they don't feel super about it. So there you have it um, for the show. I'm back tomorrow recapping today's NBA playoffs, Stanley Cup playoffs, WB, 
WNBA, Major League Baseball, can head to tomorrow on the weekend. Um, golf, NASCAR, news and notes, and best bet for you as well. Hope you guys have a great day, everybody.